Today, I'm going to make gonggal pang. <laughs> you just repeat after me. Gonggal pang. Gonggal pang is bread, but it looks like balloon because inside is a hollow. Outside the crust is very crispy and thin, crunchy. Inside is also melted syrup. It sounds interesting. I made gonggal pang last night. Here you go. <laughs> This gonggalbang was introduced to Korea by Chinese immigrants living in Korea. I used to buy this at a bakery run by Chinese Korean. Knock, 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 knock. It smells like some cinnamon smell and crunchy. But this guy is inside is empty. That's why it's called gonggalbang. Gonggal means fake. So people just, wow, it's big and plump bread. Nice. But Actually, inside is nothing. I cannot say fake bread. I will say balloon bread. You agree? <laughs> if you are interested in making gonggalbang, all you can do is just follow what I'm doing and pay attention to the tips while I'm making. I know that you guys are sometimes like I make really uh, the recipe simple, but it took a long time for me to develop. But later, you guys send me the photos. Hey, Mangchi, I followed you a honey butter chicken. I made you a dakgangjang. I'm so surprised because all you guys are so talented in cooking. And all, no matter where you come from, you guys are so interested in cooking. That's why you love my cooking channel. Interestingly, some of you guys never cook, but you like to watch my video, especially small children. All the time I got email from the people that their children love to watch my videos. But no matter who you are, if you are interested in cooking or not, this one you gotta make it. You know why? Because it's so, so, so simple. <laughs> so simple. Even though you never cooked my recipe, this one I can suggest because you love this. You know, because it's so fun. When I see this, this bread is really expand like a balloon, you will be so excited. So let's start. First, I will just make dough. One third cup water, sugar, one teaspoon, and then I will add dry yeast. This is dry yeast. This is one package has around two teaspoons. I will use one teaspoon. One teaspoon dry yeast. One pinch of salt and mix. And then, this is cooking oil. I use just the corn oil. So any type of cooking oil you can use. Two tablespoons. So we made yeast water. Then, let's add flour. It's the all-purpose flour. One cup. And then mix. So after stirring this, use your hand. We gotta knead. I need it for two minutes. So because this dough is very important, you have to knead until very smooth. Now it's good. Let's cover. I'm going to let it sit for one hour. I'm going to set my timer. I'm back. Did you guys take a break a little bit? <laughs> I did. So I took a little break. And also, meanwhile, I some the reply in my website and somebody's in you know, a question, I replied. One hour is almost finished. So I have to be ready to go my next step. I'm using turbinado cane sugar, but you can use any type of sugar, brown sugar, dark brown sugar, or white, three tablespoons. This is sesame seeds, one teaspoon. And this is cinnamon powder. One teaspoon. 
Let's mix. It, oh, did you hear that? <laughs> so one hour passed. Do you remember the same feeling that I used there? Hot dog, <laughs> hot dog video. You can check it out. Same mixture I use. I like to wash my hands nicely because I'm going to also really, really need. I need to knead. Okay, let's see our dough. Wow, it's the smell. You see, we just use only one cup of flour. I want to poke this guy. Oh my. Smooth, really, really smooth. Mm. Here. This is eight ounces. I'm going to make a four with this. I'll make a two ounce, two ounce, two ounce. We have two ounce, two ounce. So four two ounce balls. To shape this, I'm going to use just a little flour. Cover this with my plastic wrap so that it's not going to dry out. I will just make my oven broil first so make it really really hot including this pan. Pan has to be heated so really it has to be really hot. And let's broil first. Now let's shape this gonggal pang. <laughs> Kongal pang. So, because this is a yeast dough, very easy, very soft. You don't have to make it really uh, big. Only we need to add filling here. Like this is around four inch. And then, about two scoops. And the edge, both the edge, just a pinch here, and here, and this guy also here. Filling has to be in the center. Also, this part, we have to seal this all. And then, just spread this. Just little by little, spread. To make it circle shape and then turn it over just gently gently if you push this really harshly the sugar is going to be coming out spread like this and then let's turn it over again Almost a nice, beautiful circle we made. I just made this many times. Sometimes it is through the edge, sugar syrup is coming out. So I just seal with this my rolling pin this way. Like this, just slightly. The edge part, nice, gorgeous. And next, easily you can shape. Like this. And this.
to secure so then sugar syrup is not going to burst I love this texture you see the dark brown this is a sugar I like to make this some the black sesame seeds on top because this is a toasted black sesame seeds and then so put some water like this and then sesame seeds Let's bake this guys. So I'm going to switch it to bake. So bake 350 and then, oh my, so hot, hot. So my pan is really hot. I'll bake this for 15 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. You guys are all, everybody's, you know, oven temperature or heat is different. So even though I said 15 minutes, maybe 13 minutes, maybe 17 minutes. So it depends on. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Through this, you know, overnight inside, I'll just pick all the time. I can't wait. <laughs> Let's see inside. I was through the window. It looks kind of brownish, but let's see. Nice, isn't it? I like to make it a little more crunchy on top, so I will just change it to broil. Just broil maybe one minute. This is a very simple ingredients, but many many tips you will see because I made a lot of a lot of mistakes and failure. Eventually, this is the real, real solution. <laughs> okay. So this bread, we made the kongal pang. Ooh, hot. <laughs> nice, gorgeous kongal pang. Let me taste. You see the hmm? So let's break one more time. Okay, yeah, I will use just uh, smash this. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to my my bread. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Hmm, I want to taste it. Hmm, crunchy and sweet. The inside the melted sugar syrup is really tasty. And then when I chew, also the sesame seeds are very nutty. Very simple and humble. Humble cooking like a bread. <laughs> I told you a good thing about this, uh, um, this bread is it's never go down, never, never collapse. This is, this shape is all the time. So you make this a lot and keep it in the freezer. And then you can, whenever you need to eat, and then just uh, throw out at room temperature and eat, enjoy. I told you gongal means fake. This is fake bread? No, not fake bread. This is really tasty bread. <laughs> tasty, crunchy, cookie-like bread. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.